35 amp run into the 330 volt battery. The duty is ramping up. Uh, you can see the uh, main inductor is in discontinuous mode right now, which is evidenced by this um, resonance that you see on the scope. Now it's going to disappear and the current will start ramping up. So now we're in continuous mode. Here you see the current ramping up quite a bit. It's going to go up to 85 amps as we have uh, set it. And then we'll look at the scope. Okay, there's actually a limit, unfortunately, the input limit of uh, 100 amps that the charger is honoring right now. That's too bad. So it can uh, put out only 82 amps into the 334 volt uh, battery right now, which is just uh, about 28 kilowatts, sadly. Well, we'll just have to deal with that. Okay. So that's steady now. Yeah, refocusing so that you can actually see. See how uh, quickly the amp hours uh, come in. So this is a demonstration of a new. EMW Universal Power Processing Unit that will be capable of processing AC or DC inputs into the DC power of arbitrary voltage and current. It is controlled by the same control boards that you see in the EMW chargers, 12 kilowatt chargers but um, the main power hardware is obviously different and you can see how efficient it is as well it's going at 28 kilowatts right now and the heatsink with just one fan is still just 33 C and we already have 3.5 amp hours into the battery as we speak so pretty efficient. The charger is getting closer and closer to the CV point, which is 339 volts. The problem that we have with these high power chargers is that um, the CV point is actually achieved pretty soon and the charger switch off, switches off to CV mode and the current ramps down. Um, part of this is because of the uh, length of the lines that we run from the uh, lab to the uh, to the car to the uh, battery. Uh, we'll have to do something about uh, the sensing of the voltage. Um, there are some good suggestions on the forum, uh, and we'll do that uh, sometime in the future. But in the meantime, we'll just have to live with that. So you see, 337 volts, and it's getting closer close to 339 volts where it will switch over to CV. Let's look at the uh, uh, input current right now. So the input current is about 112 amps and it's coming from a, uh, another car actually. It's a DC to DC transfer right now uh, from one of our other cars to uh, a BMW conversion. Um, so the input voltage is about, under load is about 260, 270 volts uh, at 113 amps. That gets us about 28 kilowatts. 
um, by the way the charger has put in 10.2 amp hours in to the battery and the heat sink reads at 42 C which is a relatively benign regime for the unit. Just measure the temperature of the inductor that's about uh, 80 C in the hottest points which is away from the air floor. Um, if you look at the setup of the unit here on our test bench it has just one fan 92 millimeter computer fan actually not computer but um, it's a reasonably powerful fan but we have two of those in our 12 kilowatt units and right now we have only one blowing into the side of this one of this unit so it's half of the cooling power and it's applied in a um, uh, somewhat inefficient way the uh, production units for this particular charger or for this particular power processor will um, have three fans uh, two on the bottom and one on the top to help with the inductor cooling and also right now this unit is fully open uh, it doesn't have an enclosure which means that the air is allowed to escape and a lot of the air just doesn't get to the heatsink at all or the inductor so when you have three fans in the enclosed space the airflow will be much greater so we expect to be able to push 50 kilowatts before too long on these units. Hopefully, um, well, hopefully by the end of July. And then uh, we are working in parallel to build um, some fast charger interfaces into these beasts. So stay tuned. We are uh, going to uh, announce uh, some of the availability of these units soon so you can actually order them.